It's generated when nuclear weapons are detonated. There's a little bit of interesting story uh, behind the, the synthesis of these elements because they were quite arduous, quite long-winded. A piece of plutonium was coated onto some platinum foil, oxidised to plutonium dioxide, put in a cyclotron. Once this was over with, they would take this foil and they would dissolve what they wanted away with concentrated nitric acid. And then they had to precipitate what they wanted as a hydroxide using an ammonium reagent and dissolved it in perchloric acid. Some curium was removed. You then had the americium. And the people who did this process found it so tedious and so arduous that they actually re referred to it as pandemonium, which is Greek for uh, all demons or hell. Hello everyone, welcome once again. My name is Logan and this is Decode Reality. Today I'm going to be decoding Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Two of the most popular, not by choice, but two of the most popular people on the planet today. Uh, the topics of conversation with these two people are uncomprehensible in my eyes, but nonetheless very necessary because this presentation will, in my eyes, in my opinion, will prove without a shadow of a doubt who they are and why they're here. So let's get started. You noticed in the very beginning of this video I played a short clip from the Royal Society of Chemistry. That was their video talking about element number 95, americium. And there's a very good reason why I played that clip and pulled that clip from that element. And as you notice, the gentleman talking about it mentioned the word pandemonium, which is from a Greek word. And if you go in Wikipedia this, this is the actual screenshot you're going to get. It's from... Paradise Lost, John Milton's epic poem, but it, as the gentleman said in the video, it's related to the devil. It's related to hell. And there's a very good reason why it is just that, because as fate would have it, and as I always say, the game of life is fixed. I really don't know how else to put it. It is fixed. It was already designed before we got here, and that's why all these connections that you're seeing are exposing and expressing themselves, because they were supposed to. They're all in order, like software written for a computer system or a computer game. Things happen specific ways. So you can read about this kind of stuff, but I wanted to start there with this right here. My methods of decoding, most of you that are returning, thank you so much for your subscription time and your time invested in the videos and all of your expressions. If you're new to this, just follow the breadcrumbs. We're putting a puzzle together. And it's really easy when you understand how just to connect the numbers. But we use several layers. Starting off with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The formation date, according to the sources I found, it was formed in August 22nd of 1999. So now we want to find out what card of illumination, the typical poker cards, how does that have any relevance to anything? Well, if you follow my research, you know it has everything to do. If you're new, well, there are 52 cards in a poker deck, a typical poker deck, and that matches the 52 weeks of the year. There are four suits matching the four seasons of nature. So these are highly accurate, tying into numerology, 
of exactly telling us how this matrix reality works. People, places, and things. So how I got this card is, it's the August 22nd card matching that of the formation date. And it comes from this boilerplate chart right here, the cards of illumination. Notice there are the 12 months at the top running horizontally, and then vertically you have the 31 days. And one of your cards is going to be in here for your birthday. I'm going to highly suggest if you've never studied yourself, you should start on that right away because it's one of the most important things you can do. It gives you the keys to your kingdom. So this is the card that is tied to the formation date of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. It's the 17th card. Let me go to the next set of graphics. If you're interested in these graphics, send me an email, decodeyourreality at gmail.com and I'll send them to you. Notice these are the four suits. It's the heart suit, the club suit, the diamond suit, and the spade suit. Red, black, red, black. Each suit has 13 cards. Here are the kings at the bottom. All the way at the top are the aces. So the card number 17, the formation date of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation on August 22nd is the four of clubs. And I, again, I found that through the chart, which is right here. August is right here. We go down to the 22nd, and there it is, the Four of Clubs. Okay, and that's the 17th card. So now we can bring numerology into this. And I've chosen these two words, and they're gonna be shown throughout this presentation, talked about during this presentation, and have everything to do with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So if you're wondering, why did he choose the YHVH? What is all this? Well, if you're new to this, this is the ancient Israelite God. It's actually the God of the Old and the New Testament. So if you like your Bible, that's okay. But you'll get to know what this character is all about during this presentation. And then, of course, the word Earth, you know, the planet that we live on. That also equals the number 17. And I'm, you're seeing I'm using Chaldean numerology. Well, you know, there are several different numerology ciphers. These are the two primary ones I use right here. The English ordinal matching the 1 through 26, A through Z. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, D is 4. And then I also like to use the Chaldean a little bit more complicated and tricky. It only uses the numbers 1 through 8 and it jumps around. This is based off of phonetics. It's highly ingrained in the, also the Hebrew alphabet as well, but it's derived off of phonetics, the vibrational frequency of numbers. Notice the Billing Melinda Gates Foundation equals the number 96 in the Chaldean. 96, ladies and gentlemen, excuse me, is the yin yang, the black and white. So that's what we're using for the numerology. Then we're going to bring the tarot into this. The tarot is an offshoot of the cards of illumination. The four of clubs being the 17th card in the deck is a direct match of the 17th card in the deck of the tarot, the star card. The star is born. So automatically right there, do you think that maybe they're really sitting down and choosing these layers based upon the date? Like, hey, you know what? We're going to form our foundation. We're going to pick August 22nd because it's tied to the four of clubs and because it's the star card. And you know, if you understand the tarot, you realize the star is born. You know, got star in your eyes, the rock star. That's what the star card means. So it's really the newly, new kid on the block, so to speak. So how fitting that somebody would form their organization or foundation tied to this card right here. And you know, you have to ask yourself, are they using these layers to decode or to code their reality into, you know? I mean, if you have a birthday that's on the seventh of the month, well, you know, any numerologist will tell you, you should be probably trying to choose any major things in your life on a day that will equal a number seven, like the seventh, the 16th, the 25th, all those lead to the number seven. So are these people really in the know-how of choosing all of these layers to match these things? Or, as I say, are they being used? See, I believe the game of life is fixed, folks. And I believe these people that are just doing their job, just like you and I, 
They're just playing out their part. They're being used. So I would even go as far as to say they are possessed. Now, I know that may be a little bit outlandish to say. I know that that may be the first time you've heard that with relations to, you know, these people. But you don't need to be like selling your soul, so to speak, to be possessed. At least I don't think so. And we're going to find out during this presentation. Another layer that we do is the medicine cards. The Native Americans came up with their own tarot system. It's 52 cards, just like the cards of illumination. And they're animals instead of clubs, diamonds, spades, or hearts. And the tarot, of course, has all these symbols. But the other layer would be the cards of right here, the Native American cards. And again, if you want these graphics, send me an email and I will send them to you. Decode your reality at gmail.com. So there it is. There's the 17th card, the mountain lion. Notice the word lion, like the lion of Judah. You know, you've heard of that before. If you know your Bible or you know theology, the lion of Judah, the tribes of Judah, you know, it's all connected folks. And we're going to get into all that. Then we also bring in the real mathematics, the real numbers, the pi, the string of pi. You can find so many truths in the string of pi. You just got to study it and you got to know your numbers and you got to take notes, you know, and you got to figure it out. But these are all connected. And the number 17, which is in question because this is the 17th card. This is the 17th card. This is the, you know, this is formed on August 22nd, but it's the 17th card. Well, it appears at the 95th decimal digit of pi. 17 appears at the 95th decimal digit of pi, and that's related to the next layer that I'm gonna introduce, which is the elements of the periodic table. We bring in real science into all this, which can be measured in a laboratory. What are these elements? I mean, if you haven't discovered these, which are right here, here is the Royal Society of Chemistry, the periodic table. Maybe this is the first time you're taking a look at the periodic table since high school some of you that may be the case and that's okay but folks if you're decoding reality and you're using numerology this is a absolute must to tie in your found your findings that you come up with all these numbers have little pictures if you click on this element images here you'll notice every single one of them have a photograph an image and you can find really big keys to your decoding kingdom through all of these elements. A lot of these elements, they have several different meanings, many different numbers, and you know, it can get confusing, but nonetheless, it has everything to do with the digits of pi, the tarot system, the medicine cards, numerology, and the cards of illumination. So here it is, 95 is tied to the number 17. So keep this in mind, because we're gonna be using this quite a bit and folks I got to tell you this presentation that I'm about to show you is going to be quite lengthy but out of all the videos that I've done so far this one completely in my opinion takes the cake because it will leave no questions in your mind anymore about who these people are and why they're here so here we go folks Starting off with the coordinates, the latitude, longitude, another layer you can observe and decode from, like the city you were born in. You should be looking up your latitude, longitude, and finding out what those numbers add up to. You know, the Great Pyramid of Giza has specifics of why it was in the place it was and why they built it there. And, you know, when you start to study these things, things start to really express themselves and they open up your eyes. The coordinates of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in Seattle is 47 degrees north and 122 degrees west. And obviously that's Tetragrammaton, some of you that know my work, and 122 would be Antimony, the all-seeing eye of Horus. I left those out because really, you know, we have so much ground to cover, but they equal the number 169 when you add them up. X marks the spot. Latitude would be south to north or north to south and then 122 is east to west and then those they meet at a they meet at a very specific position on the map x marks the spot that would be the number 169 then we bring pi again into this 
and the numeric string 169 appears at the 40th decimal digit of pi. That is the ace of spades, the 40th card. And for those of you that have been following my work, you already, heard, you already know what that's linked to. We're going to get into that. What, is, what does this have to do with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the ace of spades? Ace is the pyramid. Spades is the upside down heart. So, you know, the heart would be love. Well, this, is kind of, this would kind of be anti-love. Spades. And this is the story we're going to go with here. This is off of the internet that I got. And I noticed, noticed the heading up here. August 22nd, 1999 is when they expanded their activities and they created the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. 1999 has a numerology of the number 28 and that's a direct match of the character lucifer i mean you can go and decode tons of years but you're not going to come up with many that come up with the number 28. 1999 the year they established the bill and melinda gates foundation is a 28 matching that of lucifer and we're going to be talking a lot about lucifer so the 40th card is the tie-in to the date august 22nd 1999 is the number 40 totally that's the 40th card the ace of spades and again it matches with the latitude longitude x marks the spot of the bill and melinda gates foundation in seattle one big standout folks is the actual day when you reduce it down in numerology it's the eighth month the 22nd day two plus two equals four that would be an 84. i'm showing this for great reason that's the element on the periodic table called polonium highly radioactive but it's important to see this as we go along let's keep going the ace of spades when we say that through numerology, it becomes the number 33. The illumination number, the number of Freemasonry, the numbers of spinal, and the, the number you have in, your, in the spinal column in your back, excuse me. The big standouts are the foundation dates, the birthdays of these two organizations on the left and right hand side of the Ace of Spade card. This is the World Health Organization. Notice the crooked serpent. That's Leviathan right there. That should tell you loud and clear what they're all about. They were founded on April 7th, 1948. And then their co-partner, the CDC, the Center for Disease Creation, I like to call them, not the control, but creation. They were founded on July 1st. Both of these have a birthday card of the Ace of Spades. April 7th and July 1st is the Ace of Spades card. You can refer back to that chart I showed you in the beginning. So how convenient that these two organizations who pretty much run the health industries around the world and who this guy is in control of, especially the World Health Organization, they have a founding birth date card of the Ace of Spades matching that of the starting date of the bill and melinda gates foundation through the calendar day and the latitude longitude x marks the spot through the digits of pi let's keep going moving on through this headline the foundation had an endowment of up to 17 billion dollars they had a donation of 17 billion why 17 well, because again, it's a match of the actual formation date. The formation date, remember, August 22nd is the 17th card, the Four of Clubs. And remember that linked to the word Earth. So the Four of Clubs is related to the title or the noun or the planet we live on, Earth. If you understand the Four of Clubs, four means foundation, the four squares, you know, like a pyramid has four sides to it connected to earth it's important it has everything to do north south east and west earth the four seasons of earth you know this is highly connected and they chose a date that has this card 
Again, going on the string of pi, the 17 appears at the 95th decimal digit of pi. That's one half of the I am. And that's related to the Exodus 3 verses 14 scripture where the burning bush talked to Moses and said, I am that I am. Moses was like, who should I tell the people that sent me? Well, tell them I am that I am. And this has everything to do with the Bill and Gates, or the Bill Gates and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. We're gonna get more into that. Moving on to the latter part of this here, the foundation had its second largest gift, and it had a five billion dollar gift on January 24th of 2000. The January 24th card is the Three of Diamonds. It's the 29th card. And of course, 29 is related to the Gnostic Demiurge, the ones that the Gnostics say is the God that rules this earth, Yaldabaoth. And the reason why I'm showing Mr. Trumpeteer here in the background is because this is his birth card. Now, I'm not saying for certainty that he was the one to give the Bill and Gates, or the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, their five billion dollar gift. I'll leave that up to you and your vantage points of what you see. But I thought it was very interesting that January 24th was chosen to put in this article, and it's linked to Donald Trump's birth card, the guy who has a ton of money. And I'm going to show these dudes are in bed together, by the way. Here's the actual address of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation located in Washington, D.C. Notice the numerology of the full address, 1300 I Street, you know, I am that I am. I mean, why would you put your location at I Street? Again, I Street, I am. It's just really, folks, that's why I say the game of life is fixed. I mean, they may be choosing some of these things, but they are possessed. They are being used. That's the only logical explanation for all this. I Street, you know, it has a total numerology of 77. The 77th card in the tarot deck, the last card is the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles means the King of Diamonds. And that would be the 39th card, the King of Diamonds. So the address is tied to the King of Pentacles and the King of Diamonds. And that's really interesting because it's a direct match to the address of, or the name Microsoft through numerology. Microsoft is really interesting as well. Microsoft is a 39 through numerology. That is a direct match for the 39th card, the King of Diamonds. And again, you know, you go back to the address, 1300 I Street, Northwest in Washington, D.C. It's the King of Diamonds, and you have Microsoft being in the King of Diamonds. I mean, what are the odds of that being the case? You know, the word skull and bones, that equals the number 39. And, you know, it's totally related to this element right here. Again, here are the layers you need to observe from the elements of the periodic table. 39 is linked to the element yttrium, which, of course, has only one weight. A lot of these elements have multiple. This only has one, and it's 88, as in 88 miles an hour for the DeLorean, Marty McFly, Back to the Future. You know, Trump's last name through the English ordinal equals the number 88. So, there's a direct tie-in to Trump there, for sure. Notice the abbreviation of yttrium, it's the letter Y, and that kind of matches the snake's tongue. If, you, if a snake sticks its tongue out at you, it'll be in the shape of the letter Y. Notice the address of Microsoft. One Microsoft away, Redmond, Washington, 98052. The numerology of that using the English ordinal is 322. That's why I have skull and bones here. 322 using English, which is skull and bones, which is tied to Microsoft, which is tied to the 39, which is tied to the King of Diamonds, which is tied to the address of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in Washington, D.C. The big standout as well is the number 53 because through the Chaldean, it's the number 126, which is the I am that I am. Part of it, the iodine. 
And iodine is the element linked to the yod in the tetragrammaton because the yod is the 10th letter. It's directly tied to iodine. What's really interesting is, you know, folks, iodine is one of the essential elements that we need to survive. I mean, for the thyroid. You know, so it's really interesting when you start to observe these layers that way. And we're going to come back to that. Moving along, here is the address of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in Seattle. 500 Fifth Avenue North. I mean, there's a 55 right there, which is the 10th Fibonacci number, which is the Yod. The full address through numerology comes out to the number 95. Look at these connections, folks. The address of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in Seattle is in 95. The address of Microsoft's headquarters in Redmond is a 126. 126 is connected to iodine. 95 is connected to americium which I played the video in the beginning, which is related to pandemonium, which is related to hell and the devil. So you have the I am, folks. This was completely mind-blowing to me when I found this. Because I decoded Bill Gates. I mean, you, you've probably seen the video on that. But I never expected to find this. And here we are. And, you know, even when you take the 95, Amer uh, americium has... A few weights, one of them is 241, and the number 241 through number empire is the 53rd prime number. I mean, look, there's the connection again. I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, that's a no-brainer. So we know that Microsoft and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation are directly tied to these two elements, the I am the iodine and the americium absolutely mind-blowing to me so here it is let's break that down this is really important folks we're going to get into theology now and you're going to have to use your own judgment on what you want to believe now because it's going to get a little bit twisty turvy now the old testament of course was written by the hebrews according to history which is the Jewish faith. And, you know, again, I'm just pointing out the obvious. I'm not seeing anything derogatory. I'm just pointing out the obvious, going off of the facts that I'm presented here on Wikipedia. And when you study this, I am that I am, notice that it says here, and I, I would only be able to think that it would be the Jewish faith that would put this here because the corrections go in by people, and if they didn't like this, they would change it. So this has to be accurate. Especially at this level, this is a big deal. A big deal. Like a big deal. Not a small deal. A massive deal when it comes to religion. These people don't fool around. So the Judaism favors, I will be what I will be. Even though it's I am that I am. So we're going to decode both of those, and here is the actual Hebrew spelling of it it's it's right there we're going to decode that as well Ex exodus 3 verses 14 i decoded exodus 3 verses 14 i am then i am check out my video on that and here's the first part of it i am that i am because microsoft and bill and melinda gates foundation have that for their addresses and their titles and microsoft so i am that i am through these two ciphers the first one, the English, is a 95, which is a direct match of the address of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. 95. And when you get into the Chaldean, it's a 26. 26 is directly linked to the Hebrew spelling of the yod heh vah -Heh, the ancient Israelite God talked about in the Bible, the God of the Bible, is a number 26 through the Hebrew, the original language of it. It's a 26. There it is. There's the spelling of it. And I am that I am is a 26? Well, what, what do the cards have to say about that? Well, the 26 card in the deck is the king of clubs, the king of the mind. Clubs means mind. And when you say king clubs, becomes the number 28, 
which is directly related to Lucifer. So is it possible, is it possible that the yod heh is, in fact, this character right there? Moving along, what about the Hebrew? The Hebrew spelling of it predates the English spelling of it, so let's decode it. I showed you this element in the beginning of this presentation when I was showing you the formation date, August 22nd, also read as 8-4, 8 and 22, 22 becomes 4, 8-4. It's the element polonium, and look at what we have, another match, folks. I am that I am through the Hebrew, when you break it down, the number 84 is a direct match of polonium. Now, polonium has multiple weights. Here's one of them, and then here's the other one. And I wanted to point out that polonium is, on this here, is a 208.982. If you add those numbers up, the masculine and feminine together, you're going to come up with the number 1190, as in... 119 and we're going to come back to that and i'm going to show you some other examples of that to support what i'm showing so we have multiple layers we're observing it from and there's a very specific reason why i'm showing the 17 and 71 remember 17 i'm going to backtrack 17 is linked to the 95th decimal digit of pi and that's linked to the I am, the I am that I am. Remember, the if you if you saw my video on the Vesica Pisces decoded, I showed that the our eyes are the fish, and the ra the rainbow is inside of our eyes. We're humans, humans, H U E, and the light goes in our eyes, and that's the light spectrum, the seven colors of the rainbow, one through seven. So. Going back to this, the 17 has a mirror. It's got the number 71. So it would be the element chlorine and the element lutetium. 17 and 71. And when you add up 17 and 71, going over to our trusty calculator, we get the number 209.91. 209 is relinked to polonium. And again, you know, going back to the formation date of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, there it is. August 22nd, 8-4. Notice the 1999 is 28, which is Lucifer. So we're going somewhere with this. We're building a foundation, and I think it's becoming very obvious, folks, just what might be headed in the direction of the final expressions of this presentation. Let's keep going. Remember I showed you the Judaism, they prefer it to be, I will be what I will be. That's even more apparent because using the two ciphers, the first one, English ordinal, equals the number 196, and that's the element gold. The element gold, if you type in gold into your numerology cipher, the Chaldean output is going to be the number 17. Gold is a 17. The Chaldean output of I will be what I will be is a 58. That's a direct match of the element nickel, the 28th element called nickel. Nickel has various weights. One of them is 58.693. It's average. 28 is a direct match, again, of the character Lucifer. So is it possible that the Bible is talking about this character right here being disguised or disguising itself as the yod heh -Vah Are they the same character? Or is the Bible completely convoluted and rewritten to show that it's this, but it's really this? Personally, I believe they're one and the same character, folks. That's why I say the Bible's the biggest conspiracy 
ever written and presented to mankind. Look at these here. I showed this in another video. The word Satan, an extension of Lucifer. Satan is a number 14. It's a three, it's pi because Satan is 31415. Well, when you break down 31415 through the elements of the periodic table, now we get into alchemy, folks, breaking down the spoken word and numerology, tying it to the elements of the periodic table. 31415 is lithium, hydrogen, beryllium, hydrogen, and boron. 31415. So then we want to add up those atomic weights right there. Go over to the trusty calculator, add them up. We get a total of 29.053. And when we say 29053 through numerology, look what we get. Another 95. Remember, the 29th card is the three of diamonds. And I think you know whose birthday that is right there. I mean, I, I, this is, I decoded the Honeywell, Trump going to Honeywell. Check out my video, Random Thoughts Number 5. But, I mean, this is the masks that they're trying to push on people. N95, it's it's a Satan mask is what it is. Clear as day. And they're pushing them on people and selling them and mocking people and laughing all the way to the bank. Here's the overhead Google Earth shot of the headquarters of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation located in Seattle, 500 Fifth Avenue North. What does this look like as far as the shape. I mean, could these people really be that diabolical? Could they really just build out something and make it in certain shapes to represent the energies that they really truly are? Well, in my opinion, absolutely. I mean, what do those look like to you? Well, to me, they look like two Vs. Two of them. And through the English, when you put two V's together, it becomes the letter W, and the W is tungsten, which is the crown, folks. But these are separated, so we separate them. The V is the 22nd letter, and that's the element titanium, which of course has in a weight or mass of 47. It's most abundant weight, I might add. Titanium, you know, Saturn, Saturn maybe Satan, I don't know, maybe. Saturn has a moon called Titan. You know, the Titans versus the Olympians, the great gods of the Greek mythology. But nonetheless, when we add them up over the trusty calculator, look what we get, folks. Another freaking 95. So is this what they're expressing? Am I just going way out far left? Am I just going absolutely crazy? Am I really trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Am I, am I really just exaggerating on this or is this really what's going on? Let's keep going. How about their birthdays? You know, how about their birthdays? I mean, she doesn't even look the same as, I mean, I don't know, man. I look at pictures of her years and years ago, just way different looking now. I, I just, it's really something really weird going on, but that's for a different story. But nonetheless, look at this. I told you, you know, remember, this can form a W. Two V's together can form a W. That's linked to the crown. W's the 23rd letter. 23 is crown. But look at August 15th is when Melinda was born. October 28th is when Bill was born. That's a span of 74 days. I mean, you know, you, what are the odds of that being the case, folks? Really, think about what I'm showing you here. Really think about what I'm showing you. And ask yourself, could this really be planned by man alone when you're seeing these outcomes like this? You know, 74 is linked to tungsten. I told, There's the W. Tungsten is used to make filament for light bulbs, as in illumination. This is half of the year. I mean, 365 divided by two. I mean, you're going to get your 74. And then, you know, let's not forget it's linked to the 33rd element arsenic. You know, the Christ was 
supposedly crucified at the age of 33, and his name in numerology equals 74. So does Lucifer's. So what is it you see, folks? I mean, look, these are completely obvious. Something you won't see in the news. Here's another story right here. I mean, these guys, do they have anything to do with the Bill and Gates, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation? Hey, there was a donation of $5 million on the Three of Diamonds card. A lot of people think this dude is a savior. A lot of people think he's got their best interests at heart. Man, can't wait for the truth to come out. But nonetheless, look at this. Here's another timestamp. Is it not obvious, folks? Melania, April 26th. Humpty Dumpty Trumpty, June 14th. That is a span of 49 days or one month in 19 days, as in 119. What about Pi? What does Pi have to say about these two? Well, 49 days is the span of their births. The numeric string 49 appears at the 57th decimal digit of Pi. 57. Folks, 57 is tied to the element nickel. Nickel's weight, its most abundant is 57.935. And of course, I've shown this over and over. Lucifer's element, one of them is nickel. And here it is. I mean, now getting into the 17 and the 71. I told you 17 is linked to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. It's linked to the star card. And of course, you know, if you saw my decode on Lucifer, this is one of his elements or its elements. Lutetium. I mean, it's, you know, right, right here. You know, if you study Manly P. Hall... The secret teachings of all ages, the highly revered Freemason, he comes out and says in his writings that Lucifer's number is the number 741. Well, this is the only element that has that. And it just so happens it starts with the two letters, it starts with the two letters of his name. What are the odds of that being the case? And the numbers match. 71 is the mirror of the 17. That's why I have these both right here. And remember, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, their formation, their card is the 17th card, the Four of Clubs, which means Earth. So 17 and 71. And I mean, look at this. You want to talk about another sink here, folks? No coincidences here. We don't show coincidences. The mountain line is the 17th card. Mountain lion, through numerology, is the number 49. And again, I just showed that. 49 days is the span between Melania and Donald's birthdays. And of course, I mean, look at these outcomes, folks. How is somebody to deny what they're being shown here? Mountain lion. 17 is the lion of Judah. The tribes of Judah. You know, and there it is, folks. I mean, this is a picture from episode from one of the episodes of the show Lucifer. It's on Netflix. Here's the actor that's playing Lucifer, Thomas John Ellis. His name is a match of the element nickel, which is Lucifer's element. His name, his birth name, is a 57. And they got this guy to play the character Lucifer, and that's a direct match. Loot right there. This is one of Lucifer's elements, along with this one, along with this one. It's got many, but this is, I mean, this is a dead giveaway. And notice the number 69, that's the sign of cancer. Could have picked any number, could have picked 52, could have picked 41. Nope, they had to flash up the 69. That's the yin yang, and that's the sign of cancer. What does cancer do? It kills people. So they chose that for one of the zodiac signs. That's the fourth Zodiac sign, that rep represents the heart. So what is, the, what is the agenda? To kill the heart. That's what it tells me. And I mean, here it is, folks. You know, the last names that we have, we were given. We 
We inherited those last names. Our, our parents gave you your first and perhaps your middle name. But your last name has been passed on for probably thousands of years. So when you do your numerology, if you're going to decode yourself, you can decode your first name, you can decode your first and middle name, and you can decode your full birth name. But this definitely has relevance in this case. I mean, Melinda Ann and William Henry, that's their first and middle names. That has a total numerology of 71 matching that of Lucifer's one of Lucifer's elements. That's right there. Again, you know, you got to ask yourself, you owe it to yourself. You really owe it to yourself to start asking these questions in your mind, going against the grain of what you were taught and programmed. Because there are no more secrets anymore. None. We have all the information that's being presented to us. I mean, look at this. I think this is my last slide. Thank you for sticking with me. I showed this before. I'm going to show it again. I'm decoding Lucifer right now. I got a lot of information coming out with that. But look at this. The element, Lutetium. One of his elements. When you decode it, look at the numbers we get. For the English ordinal, it's 121. 121 is a direct match of the element antimony. Antimony is a 28 through numerology, and that's a direct match of Lucifer again. On the Chaldean side, it's a 33. That's a direct match of the element arsenic. Arsenic is poisonous. Has an atomic mass of 74. What's really interesting is Jesus equals the number 74, and he was crucified at the age of 33. Arsenic is the 69, which is right there, which I showed right there. These shows, man, are divinely given to you. I mean, and I when I say divine, I'm saying energies outside of us there's no other way to explain it i mean you're begin you're giving it to you in plain sight and then there you go lucifer is a match 74 74 with jesus so is lucifer and jesus the same character or are they separate is lucifer and jesus the same character as well as the yod heh vah -Heh? or are they just the personalities of the yod heh vah -Heh? that would be my selection Lucifer and Jesus are the personalities of the people that call the deity God, the God of the Bible. That's my current understanding of it. Good cop, bad cop. Love and fear. The Old Testament is fear. The New Testament is love. Jesus didn't come on the scene till the New Testament, written by the Greeks. Greek and Hebrew, G and H, go look up those numbers. It's all written in the software of this matrix. You just got to go look, folks. You just got to go look. So thank you so very much for sticking with me. That's all I got for today. My name is Logan. This is Decode Reality. Thank you so very much for your support and watching.